Good afternoon, Jesse. It's Kerry again here from Pacific Title Lexus Cairns. So what I'm going to do for you today, Jesse, is just do a high definition virtual tour of our 2018 Hyundai Kona that we have in stock here for you. So basically what I'm going to do is just go through the interior exterior of the motor vehicle, also through the wheel arches, tyres and rims, and then basically go back through the uh, features inside the vehicle itself, and then basically go through the engine bay, and then uh, hopefully I can show you a little bit more about the dealership as well too. So just letting you know that we are one of two pre-owned dealerships here in far north Queensland, Jesse. Um, we actually are standing right here at 77 Mulgrave Road. So we're actually based in the city of Cairns itself. Um, we're about 1.5 kilometers away from the city. As you can see, that's in the background there as well. Our second pre-owned yard is actually at 235 Mulgrave Road. And that's actually about two kilometers south of Cairns itself on the left-hand side. Next to that one is actually our franchise dealership, Toyota and Lexus as well too. Behind that is actually our service and parts department. And also just around the corner from that on Scott Street is actually opposite lock for drive center that we actually own as well too. So you can see that we hold up about 160 to 250 cars in stock here. Um, we actually are pretty jam packed full here at the moment. Um, like I said, we sold probably about 200, 250 cars a month as well too, Jesse. So as you can see that big gray building, there's actually our showroom floor. So it's two stories. So what I'm gonna do right now, Jesse, is just basically get straight back into this video and tell you a little bit more about this Kona that you were inquiring with us today. So I'm gonna go straight through the engine base right now. And just to give you a look underneath how clean and tidy that is. Fantastic. That looks really good, Jess. Engine bay looks nice and tidy. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna go through the front bar. As you can see it on the front bar, it's got the fog lights as well too with the black trimming around it. It's got that nice smart look to the front of the bar as well too. So on both sides of the vehicle. And then I'm just gonna go up into the bonnet right now and just gonna go across the top of the bonnet and see how clean and tidy that is. I just noticed it on the top of the bonnet, Jess. There is a couple of little stone chips that I noticed. So I'll get it really close up, there's one and two. But I can get them fixed for you before delivery. Just gonna go under the windscreen, just make sure there's no chips or cracks in the windscreens itself. Fantastic, that looks amazing. Okay, having a look down the uh, passenger side just to make sure there's no ripples in the paint. That looks smart, really nice. I'm just gonna go across the top of the doors and just make sure that I can, if there is any other blemishes, I wanna point them out to you. But going across there, there's not really much at all. This car is actually in great condition. So I'm just gonna go down to the bottom part now and just giving you a look down to the bottom of the door seals. And then I'm gonna go through the wheel arches next. Okay, so around the black plastics, I'm gonna go inside here, the camera, around the wheel arch, Looks very clean and tidy. Um, checking the tyres, got about 98% tread on those tyres. Looking in the rims, there's one little mark on the rim itself. It's a tiny little gutter rash there. But I'll point that out for you. On side your mirrors, it's got your blinkers and everything inside your mirrors as well too. Open up the passenger side door and just check in the trim. Now clean and tidy those trims. You've got the door pockets down there with the cup holder. Down onto the kick panel. Basically back up through the dash across the dash, back through the driver's side seat, then in through to the passenger side seat. So it does come with two keys, as you can see. I've got the log box and some owner's manuals out there for you, but I'll go through them very shortly with you. Also having a look at the back door trim now, I've got little pockets down here on that side as well, down onto the back of the kick panel, on the back of the seat, and then back through to the uh, back row seats itself. Fantastic. Okay, having a look at the rear bar. On the rear bar, it does have your reverse sensors. So I'll get the camera up pretty close. So yes, you can see one, two, three, four sensors on it. So in with the reversing camera is actually just above the uh, number plate there. If I open up the back tailgate, just to give you a look inside here as well too, Jess. Fantastic, looks amazing. Very clean, very tidy. Lifting that up as well too. Just underneath there is all your spare wheel jacks and tools as well too. So it gives you a bit of an idea where that is. Okay, just closing that boot up and then I'm gonna step back a little bit down to the driver's side and then I'm gonna make my way to the front of the vehicle now.
Okay, just having a look at that front, looking at that paint, that paint's in great condition. You can see that the there's a lot of gloss in that paint. You can see the sun reflecting in this, reflecting into the cars. Then I'm just gonna go down to the front wheel arch here now. Just go around the front wheel arch, checking the tires. Got plenty of tread, 98% of the tread on those tires. Down onto the bottom seal of the doors and then back through to the back rear wheel arch as well too. Fantastic, checking those tires in great condition, checking the rims itself. Okay, there's one little mark here that I can do a brush touch on it and on the door handle as well. But that's probably the only three marks that I've found so far on the car. Looking onto the back of the seats, back through to the uh, back seats itself. And then the most important thing is the driver's side seat. So basically you use this 24 seven more than any other door by checking the trims on that, it's all clean and tidy. You've got your windows, you've got your mirrors, you've got your central locking as well too. On your door panels as well too, with your uh, cup holders. Back through the pillar, then up onto the dash and across the top of the dash as well too. Back through to the uh, passenger side seat there. So I'm just gonna jump inside the vehicle. So, by jumping in here, just showing you the odometer reading. It's got 59,723 on the clock. All right, so I'm just gonna put the keys in now just to start the vehicle up and give you a look at the display on that side. Fantastic, looks amazing. You've got your digital speedo in there as well too, as you can see, and you can change it with this little button here. So you can chase that little button, you can change it, you've got your compass in there as well too, your driving ability, your doors, setting, and then back to your, um, your digital speedo odometer. Okay, the most important thing is to have a look around the steering wheel. It's got the leather steering wheel. There's no bad perfection to the steering wheel itself. On the left side of the steering wheel, you've got your functions as in your Bluetooth, your voice recognition, and your volume controls, and your mode system. So in your audio sound system, you've got your sat navigation that comes back through the vehicle. And if you plug into your phone, it'll go to Apple CarPlay and Android Play for you as well too. If you have on the right side of the steering wheel, you've got also you've got your cruise control that you can set up as well too. And your, that little blink, that's your blinkers and actually your lights. So you can switch it to auto and have your lights on auto at all times. And when it gets to night time, it does flick on automatically. You can put your fog lights down below and press that button. On the right side of that one is your, your normal wipers and then also your rear wipers as well too. Okay, having a look over here, I'm going to show you the reversing camera. It's the most important thing to look at that you have got through camera. Those lines are detected to see how far you can go back and forth as well too. I'm not too sure if the old car has that, but this one does for you. You can fill the screen up and go press that button and it'll go to a full screen for you as well too. Just, you've got your air conditioning below that as well too. You've got your 12 volt auxiliary, also your USB and extra USB point as well too for your chargeable your phone and then you've got your AUX as well. You can sit your phone there if you want it, or you can put anything that you want to put down there. Your gear stick, this inside your gear stick, you've got your drive mode system. So drive mode system, if I put the camera up here, if I press that mode system, it's got your normal eco mode, then it goes into sports mode, and then it goes to comfort mode as well too. So just a change in your mode system, so basically more economical sides for you. There is a little button here called hill descent timing, um, hill descent timing is basically when you go down the hill a little bit and you want to go really slow and steady, you use that button as well too. Cup holes in the middle, and the most important thing is like I was saying to you, and that's the most thing I'm saying, is basically your owner's manual, your logbook service history, you can see that 40,000, 33 and 50,000 Ks. If you want to keep value in your car, just always service a vehicle at a licensed mechanic shop, and then if you do that, at least you know that you can get good value in your car when you come to sell it again. But that's come to the end of the video there, Jess. I would like to say thank you very much for your inquiry. Um, if there is any questions, please do not hesitate to give me a call. But I would like you to make sure that I can make you a proud owner of this Hyundai Kona for you. Thank you.